Okay, David Hay versus Manuel Shah. My thoughts about this fight. Now, can I be honest with you? Um, it's great that the Haymaker is coming back. And, you know, he brings excitement to the division. I think he's got to a position now where he doesn't think he needs to be shouting his mouth off. And he's been quite respectful of Manuel Shah. With that being said, um, he made his comeback. He, he come back and he beat Derek Chisora. Um, and I want to make a point about Derek Chisora. I'll say, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do like Derek Chisora, but my problem with him is I think his style is more effective against guys that are giants. You know, those who are significantly taller than him. 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", 6'9". If you look at all the fights that people say that Chisora's looked good in, You'll notice there are guys like Fury, even though he was over he was overweight in that fight. Um, you look at the Hellenius fight where well, people said he beat Hellenius, me included, and the Klitschko fight, which he gave Klitschko a good fight. Now, when he fought David Hay, the same height, that ducking and weaving stuff is not as effective, and I don't think that uh, Chizora's style is suited to somebody. Uh, like David Hayes, the same, same, the same height as him, and or maybe an inch taller. The problem also was that David Hay was e able to find Chisora's chin much easier, instead of the likes of Klitschko and Hellenius hitting the top of, uh, of Chisora's head. And I think Derek was getting hit with so many punches in that fight, even though he's given David a good fight. I don't think he was used to getting hit so many punches. Got frustrated, and the frustration showed when he threw that odd punch and got knocked out yeah but again I think that David was pushed very hard in that fight and was blown very hard in that fight which leads me to Manuel Shah this is not the David Hay Derek Chisora you probably think I'm thinking going a bit crazy so it leads me to Manuel Shah when the fight was first announced and it was obvious that this was going to be the fight that was going to be made there was nobody else in the heavyweight division available for David Hay to fight you know, Pulev was set up to fight Fury, and you know the rest. Um, uh, everyone else was fighting. Ariola was fighting. Um, who else was fighting? Well, they're all fighting, basically. So, Manuel Shah, and Manuel Shah had made a big thing statement that he wanted to fight David Hay. He'd been chasing David Hay since the Chisora fight, and with all the stunts and the antics and the Twitter, the fight has been made. So what do I think about the fight? When it was first made, I just kept seeing John Ruiz. I kept seeing John Ruiz all, all the time. John Ruiz, uh, Manuel Shah, about the same height. Um, and I thought they were a similar sort of style. And Manuel Shah's last fight, where I believe he had an injury going into that fight, he was grossly overweight. And, well, he knocked the guy out. But I wouldn't look too much into that fight. I really wouldn't. I think Manuel Shah is going to be in excellent shape coming into this fight. And I went back to look at Manuel Shah's fight against Klitschko. And somebody would say, well, David Hayes is not Vitaly Klitschko. No. And that's my sort of concern for David Hay in this fight. David Hay, yes, is a big puncher. But I go back to the Ruiz fight. And if you look at the Ruiz fight, the first 30 seconds, he lands a beautiful one-two. Bang, bang. Drops Ruiz on the floor. But takes him another nine rounds to get rid of Ruiz. Now, Ruiz was past it. Everybody admitted Ruiz was past it going into that fight. Ruiz had come up for layoff. I think he had one comeback fight. Something like that. Um, but, you know, his best days were behind him. Yes, he'd beaten Ivan de Holyfield. But remember, Ruiz was also taken out in Vin, I think, 30 seconds by David Tua. But uh, since then, you know, Ruiz has put up some good wins. And in his prime, I guess, you know, this is the guy that got beat by... Um, Roy Jones so he had a problem with speed there so David Hay for me and even in that fight David Hay typically you know throw your punches get out of the way throw your punches get away and I know or the best way to describe um, Hay is an ambush fight he throws his gets his shots in and gets out of there doesn't want to engage much um, and even then Rez was able to land the left jab and land a couple of left hooks and right hands in the fight Despite Hay peppering him with shots. Now, Manuel Shah 
to his credit, is far more athletic than John Rez. John Rez could only come forward. Ramal Shah can move, can move backwards and he can come forwards. Okay, he seems to have some movement, he keeps his hands up well. He's, a, he's much fresher than John Rez. The thing the difference is, well, John Rez had experience at world level, but experience is no good if you get him beaten left, right, and centre. Um, he had experience against Roy Jones and got completely taken apart by Roy Jones. So speed was always a problem for for um, Ruiz. Now my thing for Manuel Shah is that he seems a man that's coming to fight. Without, no shadow that he's coming to fight. He's not over the hill. He's prime. You know, he's never been knocked out. He got stopped on cuts by Vitaly Klitschko. But let's be fair, that cut was nowhere as bad as the cut that was with uh, the one that Klitschko experienced with Lennox Lewis. For me, and David Hay tired badly in that, in, in that, in that fight against Chisora. For me, I see this fight being a lot more competitive than a lot of people expect it to be. I don't expect David Hay to blow Manuel Shah at first, like how I was talking about the Reds fight, because even with Reds, he didn't knock Reds out. Uh, and the knockout punch that Chizora took, to be fair, Chizora was left wide open. Yeah, Derek created that, um, David created that opportunity, and that's no uh, knock on David. He did well in that fight. I'm not sure, sure about this one. I think Manuel Shah is big, he's strong, he's a puncher in the heavyweight division. And yes, speed does kill, but a good left jab. Tucking up tight and getting closer to Hay, which I think Manuel Shah can do. And the fact that Manuel Shah is versatile, I think he can go forward and he can go back. And I don't know if David Hay is looking at his fight as a knockover job or not. And I want to really know, you know, why did David Hay really come back? I mean, he kept talking about Klitsch goes, Klitsch goes, Klitsch goes. The fight wasn't going to happen. And he knew the fight. I, don't, I think he knew in his heart the fight wasn't going to happen. When it gets really hard now in the later rounds, is Hay going to still want him? What would happen if those that Chisora fight had gone longer? I don't know. I don't know. I expect Shah to put on a very good fight. Um, I expect Shah to connect more in this fight. And, you know, the thing about David Hay, fighters like David Hay and Roy Jones Jr., People who rely on speed and reflexes rather than boxing skill. David Hay is not a defensive fighter. David Hay is not a, a good inside fighter. I think Manuel Shah is a better inside fighter. And it would be best advice for Manuel Shah to walk David Hay down, get him against the ropes. Don't give him leverage to throw those shots and get in. And hope that he can be able to walk David Hay down. For David Hay, David Hay has got a hope that his punches have the effect that he does, they do in the first half of the fight. If David Hay doesn't get rid of Manuel Shah in the first four rounds, or the first five rounds, I think this is a tough fight for Hay. And I could even see an upset on the cards here. Um, just because this is a man, Manuel Shah, that's fighting, and you saw his fighting hard against uh, Vitaly Klitschko. He wanted to fight Vitaly Klitschko, and he was getting closer to Vitaly Klitschko. And if you can make Vitaly Klitschko go backwards, and Vitaly Klitschko has an excellent left jab, uh, David Hay does not have an le excellent left jab. He's more about hooks. I think a left jab is going to be key to keep Manuel Shah balanced. I don't think Hay's got that left jab to keep the Shah balanced, which means that Manuel Shah is going to get more opportunities to get inside and land those heavy punches. And Manuel Shah can punch. Believe me, he can punch. I think also, um, if Ruiz can land... The value of can land, Shah can land. And David Hay in the heavyweight division, again, his chin is relatively un is questionable. He did get dropped by Monty Barrett. Monty Barrett came to fight. People say, well, the, Vitali the Vladimir Klitschko fight, he got hit on the chin. Yeah, but every time Vladimir Klitschko was hitting him on the chin, he was pulling back from punches because he didn't want to commit. So Vladimir Klitschko never, at no point in fact, sat down on his punches and committed. Char will be committing to his punches and... I believe it's going to be a case of knockout or be knocked out. So 
This fight wins by this. Whoever wins this fight wins by knockout. But for me, I'm gonna go with a fresher guy. Uh, you know, it's thoughts, not prediction, just thoughts. But my thoughts are leading towards Manuel Sharp. I was also the guy that predicted that Derek Chisora would do the job. But I didn't expect Derek Chisora to throw the punch that he did. And um, I think this might be a judgment call on Derek Chisora. I just think that his style is much better against taller guys. Those are my thoughts. I expect Manuel Shaw to have more success getting inside and landing those punches. Question this fight is, I think Man will Shaw will be able to take what David Hayes got. I just wonder whether Man David Hayes will be able to take what Manuel Shaw's got. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I'm out.